Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today for the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia, we are going to be setting out to explore the unbridled mammalian glory that is the Zozo no Mi. The Zozo no Mi is a Zoan type fruit that allows its user to transform into a mighty elephant as well as an elephant human hybrid. Or an elephant, whatever you are hybrid. Because in this particular case, the Zozo no Mi was consumed by a sword. Yes, you heard correctly, a sword. A sword that post consumption became known as Funkfried and is currently wielded by Spandan, which made its debut in the series during the Any Sloppy arc. All right, most One Piece fans should be pretty familiar with the etymology of this fruit, thanks to the wonderful island of Zo, which is the Japanese word for elephant. As a result, both Viz and Funimation went with the classic translation of the elephant elephant fruit, which seems rather reasonable. However, plot twist, because as of volume 81, Viz, for reasons, decided to change this naming scheme to the elef elef fruit. I mean, I get that saying elephant elephant is a mouthful, but yeah, I'm not so sure about that move. Especially since it does its best effort to ruin my upcoming etymological fun fact. Essentially, when romanized in a certain way, the Zozo no Mi's name becomes the shortest of all canonical devil fruits, while its English translation, the Elephant Elephant Fruit, is the longest name of all canon fruits, barring model names, of course. But all right, stepping into the detailed powers of the fruit, I think it's very important that we distinguish the type of elephant one becomes, which appears to be an Asian elephant. We can tell this because Funkfried's ears look like a map of India, whereas for comparison, the ears of an African elephant look like the continent of Africa, which is insanity. But as an Asian elephant, you now have the capacity to become one of the world's largest land animals, being two to three meters tall and weighing anywhere from two to five tons. So the user of this fruit would become an incredible beast, receiving immediate superhuman strength as Asian elephants can do insane things, like haul loads of three to four tons or lift a 300 kilo log with nothing but their trunk. Although I guess their trunk is the only thing they could use to lift. Not only that, but the user of the Zozo no Mi can achieve this power without sacrificing any kind of speed. In fact, the user gets a huge speed boost as well, as Asian elephants are capable of running at up to 40 kilometers per hour, which isn't technically running, I guess, because there is no point where all four of their feet leave the ground, so it's more like ambling. A very terrifyingly quick ambling, but an ambling nonetheless. There's also the benefit of added endurance to the robust nature of elephants, whose skeletons account for roughly 20% of their total body weight, much more than us pesky humans, whose skeletons make up a measly 10%. On top of that, elephant skin can be between 2.5 to 3 centimeters thick, making you much, much harder to injure in certain places, but it should also be noted that there are more vulnerable spots, like behind the ears where the skin is paper thin. And sadly, that isn't the only potential detriment to you adopting your new lifestyle style as an elephant. In terms of mobility, while your speed is pretty fantastic, you lose a lot of versatility because of the fact that elephants can't actually jump. And yes, I guess you may still retain some ability to jump in your elephant-human hybrid form, but I imagine that would still become quite an endeavor to execute, as would most general movement, really. Although the biggest issue I can see occurring has to do with the dietary requirements of becoming an elephant-human, specifically the fact that an adult elephant can eat somewhere around 135 kilograms or 300 pounds of food per day, which takes somewhere between 12 to 18 hours. And because they're herbivores, that's going to add up to a hell of a lot of salads for the user of this fruit. Speaking of the user, let's briefly examine the curious case of Funkfried. Now, I love Funkfried, even if he can't decide what color he wants to be, but it is a bit underwhelming to see a Zoan with such wildly powerful potential to be imbued into a sword wielded by an amateur bondage fetishist. I mean, the basic idea behind all of the attacks performed by the duo is that Spandam swings his sword and an elephant pops out and does something maybe. I mean, look, the idea of having an elephant swung at me isn't particularly appealing, but then again, I'm not hugely worried about being hit by some one of Spandam's caliber. In fact, just as with the Inu Inu no Mi model Dachshund, Funkfried's finest use of the fruit is that it creates a life. What was once an inanimate sword is now a living, breathing elephant, which is definitely pretty cool. Another cool thought to examine is the potential awakening of the Zozo no Mi, because as the largest land creatures on the planet, I imagine we'd be seeing some pretty supersized results. The thing about awakening though, is that it's more of an invocation of the raw instinct of the creature in question, and elephants are generally pretty chill. Like apart from sloths, koalas, and stoners, elephants may be the most chilled creatures in the entire animal kingdom, which in theory would make its awakening much easier for the user to control. And when you think of it like that, the Zozo no Mi becomes a fairly appealing fruit because that incredible secondary boost in strength and durability would come at a much more affordable price. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming an elephant human. Due to the fact that an elephant's tusks never stop growing, people around you will likely be able to tell your true age much more readily. Interestingly enough, elephants primarily communicate through touch, smell, and taste. So after consuming this fruit, you may find yourself relying a lot less on, you know, the mind minor sensors, such as sight and hearing. And finally, if you were to become an Asian elephant in the real world, you may or may not actually be put on the endangered species list. To conclude, the Zozo no Mi is a bit of a mixed bag. On the one hand, it does offer its user an incredible boost in strength, speed, and durability. And I mean a really incredible boost, much more so than most Zoan class fruits we've examined thus far, but it comes at a hefty cost of losing some general mobility and the whole needing to 
eat for 12 to 18 hours a day is probably one of the biggest detriments we've ever encountered in the encyclopedia thus far. As a result, I don't think it's fantastic fruit. But if you were to find a way around those caveats, then yeah, you should be able to get quite a bit out of this fruit. But other than infiltrating a zoo and pretending to be an elephant, I'm not 100% convinced that you will though. And with that, we are going to commit the Zozo no Mi to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. Next week, we'll be staying within the animal kingdom in order to examine the fruit held by CP9 agent Jabra, the Inu Inu no Mi model wolf. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produced in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items, with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Zozo no Me. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.